In exercise number two, you will be guided through the definition process of an iMachining 2D operation. If the CAM part created in exercise number one is not open, perform step one by loading the SolidWorks model with CAM part data. Simply click on the file name exercise1.sldprt. If not already opened, SolidWorks will open and the model will launch automatically. In step two, the following actions have to be implemented to add an iMachining 2D operation to the CAM part and define the rough machining of the outside contour. In the SolidCam Manager, right-click the Operations header and choose 2D iMachining from the Add Milling Operations submenu. The iMachining Operation dialog box appears and shows the workflow in SolidCam. Every iMachining operation is defined by a number of parameters. The Geometry page enables you to define the machining geometry for the operation. The Tool page enables you to define the tool and its related parameters for the operation. The Levels page enables you to define the milling levels for the operation. The Technology Wizard automatically calculates the cutting conditions for the iMachining technology, taking into account the tool data and milling levels defined for the operation. The Technology page enables you to define several technological parameters such as offsets, and roughing, rest machining, and finishing data. At the top left, notice the drop-down menu under Technology. This enables you to choose between an iRough, iRest, or iFinish machining strategy, all from within the iMachining Operation dialog box. On the Technology page, you will see that the parameter options change accordingly between each strategy. The link page enables you to define the approach and retreat of the tool and linking between toolpaths. By default, iMachining calculates the best method to enter and exit the cut for a particular operation. For this exercise, the default iRough technology is used to perform the rough machining of the outside contour, center pocket, and pocket ledge on a 3-axis Haas SS.